Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So today we will discuss the MCQs coming from the cardiac cycle. These are very important in order to understand these MCQs. Uh, we must know about this diagram. If we know about this diagram, uh, then we can answer all the MCQs very easily because the photographic memory, I repeating again and again, that last longer. So <clears throat> first of all, we start the cycle from here. So if this is the left ventricle, so if this is the heart, we will take out the left ventricle from it. So if this is the left ventricle, you have got the, the mitral wall uh, and you have got the aortic wall. So starting from here, what happens? There is isovolumetric contraction. So when there is isovolumetric contraction, that means that the walls, both the walls are closed. So there is MCQs in which in which phase of the cycle both walls are closed. So the answer to this question is isovolumetric contraction as well as isovolumetric relaxation in, in, in both those conditions both the walls are closed both the walls are closed so we have covered one mcq both the walls are closed during which isovolumetric contraction if there is not enough an isovolumetric relaxation so no no blood is coming no blood is leaving the the volume of the blood inside the heart is constant but what happens still the ventricle is contracting so the ventricle start contracted but the volume of the blood inside it is constant it contracts until what happens it contracts it contracts from all side so the pressure inside it goes up when it goes up it 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 opens the aortic wall when it opens the aortic wall what happens the semilunar wall opens of course on the left side aortic wall on the right side pulmonic wall so when the semilunar wall opens what happens blood comes out when the blood comes out uh, during heart contraction so it means we have you have got the ejection phase started so from here the ejection phase started from, from, from uh, the ejection phase is started now ejection phase again divided into two phases the rapid ejection phase and the slow ejection phase the rapid ejection blood comes out very rapidly slow ejection phase is the name indicates blood uh, flows slowly now what happens when all the blood is ejected from the left ventricle so some of the blood they try to come in because the, the the pressure inside the left ventricle is low as compared to the iota so what happens they close the semilunar walls they close the semilunar walls then what happens now the, the the heart is dilating again the heart is relaxing the heart is relaxing but both the walls are closed over here both the walls are closed if both the walls are closed it means again the volume is constant but the heart is relaxing heart is relaxing if both the walls are closed what two conditions are possible either isovolumetric contraction or isovolumetric relaxation when the when left ventricle dilates what happens the volume of the blood inside is constant so when it dilates and the volume of blood is constant so if we have uh, blood if we have blood in this chamber and if we have blood in this chamber keeping the volume of blood constant the pressure over here will be uh, high left ventricle or the contracted ventricle or the dilated ventricle will be high of course the contracted ventricle will be high so pressure over here drops when the pressure over here drops what happens the the the, the mitral wall opens the av wall opening when there is the av wall opening what happens the diastole started the blood is coming to the left ventricle when the blood is coming to the left ventricle so we are having filling phase in the rapid filling phase and the slow filling phase in the rapid filling phase rapidly filling left ventricle without the 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 the, the, the contraction of left atrium in in the last in the last phase of diastole what happened the left atrium contracts and the last 20 percent is uh, filled by the left atrium and then again we are having a closure of av wall now we will focus on MCQ. The MCQ states that the duration of the cardiac cycle between S1 and S2 is the du I'm repeating the MCQ. Duration of the cardiac cycle between S1 and S2 is now if this is S1, this is S2, this is what? Systole. The duration of the cardiac cycle between S2 and S1 is from here, from here. This is one relaxation filling phase this is diastole so from this line above this is history and this is diastole s1 is produced during 
isometric contraction so if you if you memorize this diagram and if you remember this picture you will be able to 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 pick at any kind of mcq now the isometric contraction uh, s1 is produced during isometric contraction another mcq is s1 is produced during the start of isometric contraction or at the, at the end of isometric contraction now we know that s1 is produced due to the closure of mitral wall and tricuspid wall and they they close they close at the end of diastole or at the start of isometric contraction so again this is very clear s1 is produced at the start of isometric contraction at the start of isometric contraction or at the end of filling phase at the end of filling phase at the end of filling phase s2 is produced during this is what phase ejection phase at the end of ejection phase if that is not an option then at the start of isometric relaxation at the start of isometric relaxation and it is s2 is produced during isovolumetric relaxation but at the start or at the end that is at the start we know that s2 is produced due to the closing of semilunar walls that is aortic wall and pulmonic wall and they close at the end of ejection phase or at the start of relaxation phase s1 is produced during isovolumetric contraction mcq sir s1 is produced at the start of isovolumetric contraction or at the end of isovolumetric contraction the answer to this mcq is at the start of isovolumetric contraction or at the end of filling phase we have got s2 s2 is produced during isovolumetric relaxation at the start or at the end so this is at the start another mcq is the duration of the cortic cycle between the av wall closing and the semilunar wall opening is isovolumetric contraction simple the duration of the cortic cycle between the semilunar wall opening and the semilunar wall closing is ejection phase simple the duration of the cortic cycle between the semilunar wall closing and the av wall opening is isovolumetric relaxation duration of cortic cycle between these all are individual mcqs the duration of the cortic cycle between the av wall opening and the av wall closing is this is the filling phase this is the filling phase this is the filling phase now s3 is produced during filling phase during filling phase which filling phase early filling phase early filling phase early filling phase s4 is produced during late filling phase now the the the, the action of the uh, of the left atrium that comes during s4 now s3 is produced due to due to the the blood entering into the left ventricle due to the due to the due to the blood entering into the left ventricle so if this is your left ventricle so if this is this is your left ventricle and then there is some amount of blood already present in the left ventricle so what happens the the blood from the body is coming over here so if you are having a container and they and that container contains already water and you pour some water from above when you pour some water of uh, 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 from above what happens that there's the striking of water from above to the already present water will produce a sound that is actually s3 that is s3 that is s3 so uh, the s3 production occurs during early filling phase early filling phase early filling phase s4 production occurs due to left uh, during left atrial contraction now the last the last this the left atrium contracts over here and that produce s4 s4 production occurs due to uh, uh, if you are having a left ventricle in the atria contracts normally what happens the left ventricle dilates when the left ventricle dilates and the left atrium contracts so what happened there is no sound now when when your left end ventricle is stiff it is not dilating so if it is not dilating if the left atrium contract again the stiff ventricle the the blood the 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 blood strike the left ventricle with with the force and produces a, a sound with the force and produces that is s4 so s3 is produced due to volume overload volume overload s4 is produced due to pressure overload pressure overload s3 is produced in pregnancy 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 that is normal condition in children that is normal condition and volume overload due to any condition such as ccf renal failure that will give you s3 and s4 is produced due to ischemic heart diseases left ventricular hypertrophy um, uh, hypertension hypertension so we we are able to answer uh, these questions uh, because we we know the diagram if we know if we know the diagram we can answer the mcq uh, quickly so now associating this picture with the ecg 
there are confusion that that are coming again and again that is s4 is produced during which wave p wave q r s t wave or st segment s4 is produced due, during we know that atrial contraction and the atrial contraction occurs during p wave so s4 is produced during p wave s4 is produced during p wave p wave occur s4 the s1 occurs during q r s QRS S1 occurs due to the closure of mitral wall and tricuspid wall and that occurs during ventricular depolarization. S2 S2 will occur during T wave T wave T wave. Of course we know that uh, S2 produced during relaxation uh, during the, the repolarization during repolarization what ha happens the heart the heart uh, relaxes when it relaxes so the 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 the, 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 the blood from the aorta uh, start coming to the left ventricle but they closes the valve so the closure of the of the semi the seminal produces S2 S4 is produced during of course before is uh, uh, before uh, uh, so, sorry this is s3 s3 is produced during this is a uh, uh, this is t wave and this is p wave and this segment is this is one bit this is another bit so a, a phase between two bit is that is equally s uh, uh, p q r s t wave and there that is another p wave of the next bit so it is s uh, t p segment this is p wave uh, t wave and this is p wave T and P, T P segment, T P segment, T P segment. So now we can answer the MCQ very quickly. S4 P wave, S1 Q R S complex, S2 T wave, S3 T P segment, S3 T P segment. Now there are certain MCQs uh, on this confusing topic. Now we can answer those MCQs directly by rationalizing them. But CPSP can change the stem, then we we, we will we will not be able to to pick that uh, concept in in that. So in order to understand this, I I drew I have drawn this diagram. So the first of all, A view. This is your heart. This is the right atrium left atrium right ventricle left ventricle of course we know that jvp is related to the right side of the heart so this is this is the jugular jugular vein that opens into the right atrium so when the right atrium contracts when the right atrium contracts some of the blood goes down and some of the blood goes up when the blood goes up what happen it produces a pulsation in the neck that pulsation in the leg due to the contraction of the right atrium when a right atrium contracts some of the blood goes up and some of the blood goes down when the blood the amount of blood going up produces a distension in the in the, in the veins in the neck in the jugular system that produces an a wave now the ventricle is contracted what happens in the next phase the ventricle start dilating now the ventricle start dilating and what will happen there will be low pressure in the ventricle uh, in the right atrium when there is low pressure in the atrium what happens the blood falls from above when the blood falls from above we know that if there is less blood in the jugular vein when there is less blood in the jugular vein the pressure inside the jugular vein drops when there drops what happens there is descent the pressure is dropping no a wave is produced due to right atrial contraction or left atrial contraction that is right atrial contraction the, this is x descent the x descent is produced due to right atrial relaxation when it relaxes what happens all the blood coming from the veins the, the jugular vein so they, they they causes collapse of the of the jugular vein when there's collapse of the jugular vein it means the pressure is dropping the pressure is dropping because of the dilation of the right atrium the x descent is produced due to dilation of the right atrium why because if, if it is dilating <coughs> more blood is coming from the jugular system if uh, more blood is coming from the jugular vein it means there is less blood in the jugular vein in the neck it means there is less pressure now <coughs> focusing on the c wave now if all the blood comes down from the right atrium to the right ventricle then what happens the right ventricle uh, the, the tricuspid wall closes when it closes uh, of course we know that next step is the right ventricular contraction when it contracts what happens the the the, the this tricuspid valve they closes but does not closes uh, horizontally they move a little at a little forward they move a little forward because of inertia when it they move a little forward what happens when they move a little forward the amount of blood were here they they will they will receive a wave so it it causes disturbance in the blood when it contracts the wall they closes but there does not uh, closes like this 
they move a little forward when they move a little forward it will disturb the blood in the right atrium when there is disturbance of the blood in the right atrium what will happen it will move like that and it move like uh, the blood hair uh, comes upward when it comes upward there will be a pulsation there will be a pulsation that pulsation is called as c wave c wave so c wave is produced due to right ventricular contraction producing the bulging of tricuspid wall into the right atrium so it is due to the bulging of tricuspid wall into the right atrium bulging of tricuspid wall into the right atrium then the next is uh, the v wave now we are having closed wall we are having closed wall closed wall closed tricuspid wall N and now the blood is returning from the body so when the blood is returning from the body there is a huge amount of blood coming toward the jugular vein when there is huge amount of blood coming toward the jugular vein there is more blood in the jugular system and there is not blood in the jugular system that will cause v wave v for venous return a for atrial contraction so v wave is produced due to venous return against closed walls that is important concept venous return against the closed wall not the open wall not the open wall against the closed wall next step is wide descent now the the wall opens when the wall opens the the blood inside the right atrium that goes down to the right ventricle when that goes to the right ventricle what happens right when right atrium becomes empty when it empties blood from the jugular system comes down when the jugular vein become empty the pressure inside the jugular vein in the neck they decrease when they decrease they produce a descent that is called wide descent now we know that Sim simply we we can we can we can pick the mcq on it a is produced a wave is produced due to a for atrial contraction x descent is produced due to atrial relaxation c wave produced due to bulging of tricuspid wall into the right atrium v wave is produced due to v for venous return but the key thing is against the closed wall against the closed wall against the closed tricuspid wall y wave is produced due to opening of the tricuspid wall and filling of the right ventricle this is filling phase filling filling of the tri uh, uh, right ventricle